All right. <clears throat> welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Lockdown Live on the Voice of Our Academy handle. Yes, Coxy of the Voice of Our Academy. Uh, my name is Xiong Shivo. You are welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lockdown Live. Right. Okay, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again. Um, today we're going to be having Joan Baker. I see you, I see you, I see you guys. I see you, Ada, Ada Benedict. I see you, um, Fatima. I see you, the vocal expressionist. Stephanie, that your video was massive. It was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to come. Right. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, good to see you guys. Hello, Ijoma, Wankwo. Um, yes, it is going to be a massive day, a wonderful day. Uh, we're having Joan Baker in the house. Um, she should be here anytime from now. Um, we're waiting for her as we speak. She should be here anytime from now. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in or joining us. Um, it's going to be a wonderful time. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, post it as well. The sports minister. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello. Onochi Emeka. Hi. All right. We're going to be having a wonderful day today. We're going to be talking to Joan Baker. Joan Baker is... Um, okay, she just joined now. Um, she's an amazing woman um, who is the co-founder of Silvers. She's doing a great work, a great work. Well, then she has so much passion for the voice of our industry. She's a global icon, whether you like it or not. You know, you go anywhere and you talk about Joan, they know her. She's, 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 she knows what she's doing. She's, she's a massive legend when it comes to this industry. And I'm glad that she's female because a lot of, a lot of times, um, you know, at the Voice of our Academy, we get a lot of um, female people come. And, you know, I see them doing great stuff, you know. I could call names, but let me just leave it like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have her here. All right, John, I'm going to add John now, right? Okay. Okay. Right. Uh What is this? Okay. Right. Try to do that. All right. So she's gonna be joining us anytime from now. Hi. <laughs> Great to have you. How are you, Sean? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, you but it could it could get a bit louder, but just come come up a bit. You know what? I'm gonna but I can hear you. I bet you hear me better now. Fantastic. Yes, I can, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to... <laughs> <laughs> so, Sean, 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 how yeah. are you? And how how is everyone out where you are in Nigeria? I, I'm doing so well. I'm doing really well. Um, it, of course, there's a lockdown right here. Uh, we're just trying to stay positive. And make sure that everything yes. um, is 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 well done. So the social distancing thing, everybody is trying to uh, adhere to that, and uh, we're hoping that the best will 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 come up. And probably they release. Are you soon. are you guys wearing masks and gloves too? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Actually, I can yeah. more more masks right now. <laughs> Me too. I've stocked up. I'm yes. <laughs> well, well, what's interesting. What's interesting is uh, I live in New Jersey, which is right across from New York, New York. City. Yeah, New York. Yeah, I can, I can literally see Manhattan. I can wow. actually see my office from my apartment. Wow. wow. And, and so we're in the epicenter, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's literally, it is so intense. Wow. Every time it's you walk out of your house. Mm. Wow. It's, wow. wow. I'm not wow. kidding. And, wow. you know, we live... Mm -hmm. In I mean, a densely the numbers, populated I mean, the numbers on TV, 
Have you seen uh, like, uh, oh, yeah. it on television? Yeah, it's it's amazing. The new, what is happening in New York is 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 crazy. Wow, crazy, crazy, and and um, everyone is I think a combination of scared, grateful, mm -hmm. right, um, in shock, mm -hmm. in shock, right. Mm -hmm. But you know what hasn't stopped moving is mm -hmm. our passion. Mm -hmm. What we're doing, uh, what we're doing, and connecting to our careers in voiceover. Yeah, and I, just I like you, the video, the of the yeah, fantastic yeah, fantastic job, fantastic job, fantastic job. Oh, uh, it's you know what we really did want to do something that could keep yeah. our industry connected and buzzing right. and inspired, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And also to give the information from different aspects of voice, um, the voiceover industry as yeah. to what. Mm -hmm. what's happening right now mm -hmm. so that people are in the know. Right. I, one thing I do think is that uh, I don't know about in Nigeria, but mm -hmm. in, in here in New York, you mm -hmm. know, one of the big things that's going to be a change is people are, are more and more going to have home studios. True. And True. in the New York market, mm -hmm. we had to go out still to casting directors. We wow. had to go to jobs at recording studios. Wow. There wasn't much work in at home. Mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. just, the, the, the market wasn't set up for that. Right. But now right. I think it's going to change and people are going to have to have broadcast quality mm -hmm. studios in their home. Right, right. Very true. Very yeah. true. That's good. That's going to happen. Um, it, it might, it might generally not take over, but um, it, it's going to be, it's going to be a large, larger uh, percentage, you know, the home studio. Yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. And it's wow. going to stick, I think afterwards. So mm -hmm. I happen to not have a broadcast quality studio mm -hmm. in my home. I have it at my office. You're right. Same here. Same here. And they're <laughs> right. And there was never a problem. Same right. <laughs> You know so what? I we're the same, Sean. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, guys. Like I said before, we have Joan in the building, and I'm so excited. Um, she's somebody I've watched um, over the years and seen the great job she's doing um, over there in America. Um, she's inspired a lot of great people, and of course, she's doing it with her partner, um, jo um, Rudy Gaskin. Rudy, we, we talked to Rudy about two weeks ago, that, last week, and it was amazing. Yes. It was it was amazing. All right, so um, I'll just start with the questions uh, sure. that people have sent in. And of course, um, and then we'll go. If you have any questions, please feel free to post it on here so that we can see your question. Uh, that's uh, uh, Goldfish is saying hello to you. That's Goldfish. It's a very oh, oh, yeah. tell, tell Goldfish hello. Hello, <laughs> Goldfish. <laughs> Hi, uh, uh -huh. here you yeah. are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the first question, the first question says, um, from the point of discovering your passion and love for the voice of a craft um, to your journey and your exponential growth in the industry, how did you find the equilibrium through the, the lows? A story. So Sean, some of that got cut off. Uh, it froze for a bit. Okay. But... okay let, let me go again. Can, okay. can you hear me clearly? I can now, yeah, yeah. Right. He says, from the point of discovering your passion and love for the voice of a craft, okay. to your journey and exponential growth in the industry, how did you find your equilibrium through the highs and lows? Please share your story. Oh, so basically okay. It's all about your, your story and how you, how you got um, involved very passionately in this industry. Well, you know, in America, and when I got started, I, I got into voiceover in 1991. And wow. at the time that I, yes, and at the time that I, and on Valentine's Day, 1991, I signed my contract with my talent agency. My talent wow. agency was literally one of the biggest in the world. Wow. I, I was thrilled. Sean, I could not get arrested wow. before. Wow. I could wow. not get arrested. No one was interested in me. I mm. can't even explain how deep that was. And the, wow. and the reason why was because of my look. Mm. My look was something, you know, being a mixed race, being biracial wow. was not in. Wow. No one knew what to do with it. It wow. was a leftover from history. You know, historically, mm. women and being mixed race, wow. you know, they were lucky to get one part. 
Mm. Lena Horne popped up. You know, certain, certain women in show business kind of rose um, out of the ranks because they mm. took their career in their own hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They stopped being dependent on the big studios or mm -hmm. the people in charge of production companies. Right. People, biracial women, have become mm. successful in show business when they took their career in their own hands. Right. I'm someone that ended up doing that same thing. Because before yeah. that, people would say to me, like casting people, producers are like, you're really great, but we don't know what to do with you. Wow. And, wow, and that great. would be, I know, I'm telling you, it was everything not to break my spirit. Because yeah. since I was a kid, all I dreamt about, all I worked towards was not just moving to New York, but to yeah. be a performer. Wow. I wanted to be a movie star. I wanted mm -hmm. to be an actress. Mm. I wanted to be a dancer and right. I wanted to be a humanitarian. Wow. And once I got out into the world and in the mm. world of New York, although it's plenty of opportunities, it wasn't mm -hmm. plenty of opportunities for people mm. like me. Mm -hmm. So on camera and theater was my uh, goal. Right. But as it turned out, because on one hand, people were telling me, like I said, you know, what exactly are you? Mm. You know, we mm -hmm. can't kind of figure you out. And the thing right. about show business is it's based on type, mm. your physical type. And in voiceover, mm -hmm. as we know, it's also based on your vocal type. So right. in show business, things are based in types. That's just mm. the way it is. Right. And I did not fit into a box. My box mm. was called other. Mm. Right. Mm. And when you're in mm -hmm. an other category, no one's interested. Mm. So there's very, there's just very few people that have been able, very few biracial or mixed people have been able to pop out of the ranks. Right. Unless, unless honestly, their parents were already connected in show business or they had an extraordinary talent mm. that just rose above. But mm. in general, you, you could be extraordinary and you were still struggling. Right. All I knew is I had to be in show business and partly... <clears throat> Partly it was because mm -hmm. when I was growing up and the mm -hmm. time I was growing up, um, I, I, in my own heart, pursued, because like I said, I wanted to be an actress. So I got myself an agent mm -hmm. when I was young. Uh, this wasn't voiceover, but this was on camera. I got myself mm -hmm. an agent. From right. there, I got into a movie. Mm -hmm. I was a uh, kid star. I was on a television show called wow. Whatchamacallit. I was on there for three years. I was a regular on it. So, and I was already doing theater. So I, this was something I was in my bones. And also to be honest, mm -hmm. the fact that I had these goals probably saved me in my life because right. really every single door was closing wow. and wow. nobody was interested. So mm. the, my goals and my dreams and my passion for what I wanted to do, mm. there was nothing stopping me, just mm -hmm. that nobody was interested. Right. So again, like, like uh, my sisters before me, I at some point down the road decided mm. that I was going to take my career in my own hands. Mm. At that same time, about that same time, by nature as an entrepreneur. So mm. it just so happened that 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 came together for me. It was really one of the greatest gifts of my life was meeting Rudy. Mm -hmm. I had already been doing on my own. I had already um, gotten a talent agent through voiceover. And by the way, because I wasn't seen, there mm -hmm. was no issue. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I didn't realize that voiceover was going to be something that ended up being the, the, the key that unlocked the door. Right, I just was right. trying to, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, mm -hmm, as they mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. And I was just going for different things that I felt like I could do and I could right. actually do naturally. Mm -hmm. But I was just trying to find my way. So mm -hmm. I kind of spread myself thin. I also mm -hmm. have a dance background. So right. um, I've been a dancer since I was, since I was a kid. We have, so much, we have so much in common. <laughs> we do? I love yeah, that, Sean. I love I that. dance as well. You know what oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> I, and I and I studied all kinds of dance. I studied right. ballet. I studied modern jazz. Wow. I studied Dunham, and Dunham wow. is Caribbean dance. Right. I studied African. I studied really? Near Far Eastern belly dance. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Hawaiian. I'm telling you, <laughs> I studied everything, and I wow. wanted to put it all into what is called jazz. 
And right. jazz dance is something that you would see on Broadway, basically. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that didn't work. I'm telling yeah. you, there are, you know, when I think back, right. and sometimes when I think about it, I still get tears in my eyes right. because, oh. because of all the decades of effort mm -hmm. focused mm -hmm. on, on mm -hmm. camera, theater, mm -hmm. showbiz, mm -hmm to the extent that I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. So all that energy mm -hmm. ended up going into voiceover mm -hmm. because that was the only door that opened. Open. And mm -hmm. I didn't even think it would, but it did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. the reason why it opened is because you couldn't see me. Right. I right. wasn't confusing people. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. now there is a category for people like me and it's called mm -hmm. racially ambivalent. Mm, mm. Yeah, so now there's a category. I don't know if I agree with that name, but mm. there is now a category, but now it seems very hot and popular mm. with the mm. younger generations. Right, right. So right. when I still, and I use TV as a, a barometer to study. So mm. when I'm studying television and I'm studying on camera commercials, there's still not a lot of people like me. Mm. Younger, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not exactly. Mm. So it's still an issue. Mm -hmm. And it's just more widely spoken about, talked about, um, more engaged about, that people mm -hmm. are more aware of it. People mm -hmm. are trying to incorporate people like mm -hmm. me more into show business. But it, right. it has been literally red lights every step of the way. I mean, I've right. even had people say to me when, uh, when I was trying for on camera, they'd say, you know, well, if you're not as dark as a paper bag, we can't mm -hmm. use you. Wow. Not kidding. Wow. This is this is. This is amazing. I'm just, you know, I'm just hearing this for the first time. I thought, I thought it was really, yeah. Like I thought it was. I mean, it wasn't a big deal for. I mean, I, I thought the blacks were actually the ones that had the challenge, you know. But this is amazing to hear. Yeah, well, blacks do, but when you're in between, exactly it's, right, it's I, even more yeah. intense and mm -hmm. frustrating. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. more, you know, actually, I represent a problem, mm -hmm. and the problem mm -hmm. is a brown society right right right, right. that really is racism mm -hmm. and that's still an issue here in america mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's why i say you know i at least i had you know biracial women in show business mm -hmm. ahead of me along the path and mm -hmm. i got to use them as inspiration for myself to continue yeah. to mm -hmm. keep going and mm -hmm. to eventually do my own thing mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. And you know what's interesting about that too, Sean, is that when every single door closes on you for decades, uh, uh. after a while I go, you know, what is my life telling me? Right, right. By, as, right. as opposed to always being upset and frustrated, I started to realize like my life is giving me a message. Uh, Let me just relax uh, and connect uh, with the message. And the message uh, was, to create my own platform. Exactly. Mm, mm, mm. And guess what? There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's nothing like you mm -hmm. did. You mm -hmm, created mm -hmm. your own platform. And mm -hmm. I feel like you are a powerhouse, Sean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think your, your branding skills, your heart, your mm -hmm. passion, and I think, I think you are extraordinary. And it really... Wow creates a platform and freedom for people to be themselves and to dig yeah. deep with who they are and bring that mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, right, right. You know, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to buttress what you're trying to say. Um, because when, okay. I, when, I, when we, when I tried to start the voiceover Academy here in Lagos, um, so it was going to be the first in Africa um, because the industry in Nigeria had started a while, right? A while ago, but a lot, uh -huh. of, a lot of people, you know, it was very mediocre, you know, it was very mediocre. And I had done so many um of so many voiceover work. I've done I've done I've done it for about um fifteen to sixteen years, you know, and you know, I am like, let's start something to start teaching people, to start helping people. People fought me, like people really fought me. Yes! Like you can't yes, do that. Sean! Why would you do that? That is why you teaching people our secrets and it was it was it was so, Sean, yes. uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just grateful, you know, and you know, what I, what I, what I, what I, my, my dream has, has always been to, you know, because Africa has been left behind a lot, 
you know so my dream was mm. okay you know what let's put africa let's try to let people know that something is happening in africa in you africa know, yes you know and africa is on the global map because a lot of times so i went for a conference i came for the com a conference in the states um the voice of a conference as well in atlanta i came i came that was about two years ago and they, they, oh, they called uh, so they called something an international uh, an international uh panel you know oh uh-huh and i told and i told him i told the guy the guy that started the conference i said you know what this is not international you have asia represented you have america represented you have uh uh europe represented but you don't you don't thank have you. you don't have africa Where, where's that thank africa? you yeah thank you, know? you. You know, that's so, international. That's yeah, the, exactly. The you know, key, you know that's exactly. the top of the you know? chain international. Right. right. So, um, so when we're saying it's national, let's let's take it, you know, the whole five yards, you know. But I, I'm so grateful. Thank you for for your very kind words. You know, I'm so grateful. <laughs> right. No, I I knew we had a lot in common, though. Mm. I knew it. Mm, mm. I knew it. Mm. But you know right. what what you're saying in terms of see, people are constantly telling you. Mm. I mean, you in general, mm. take risks, mm -hmm. take a chance. Mm -hmm. And then when you do, mm. you get all this criticism about it. Right, right, exactly. And that's the crazy thing. It's like, mm. I, I, and I hear that all the time too in voiceover. As a matter mm. of fact, I, I truly do believe it because I actually do live it. Mm -hmm. It's not right. just something I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And also, I have to tune out mm -hmm. the trolls or the people mm -hmm. that that actually are, are some of the people saying, take a risk. And mm -hmm. then when you do, they're the very first people to criticize it. Right, it's right, crazy. Right. It's crazy. So mm -hmm. you really have to have blinders on. You exactly. really have to focus and tune focus. out. Right. Yes, right. focus and tune out the negative talk mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they actually don't get it and don't know. And also mm -hmm. when it comes to show business, you at the people that you admire in show business are the mm -hmm. ones that did take risks. Right. True. True. Regardless mm. of the result. Mm. It's because that's how you live life. To me, life is taking risk even moment to moment. Mm -hmm. Even this conversation we're having is a risk. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Because we're opening ourselves up. Exactly. Exactly. Right? <laughs> right. So even this is a risk. But I'm saying like that to me is life taking risks mm, mm, so it's not just mm, that's a great positive thing to say i actually mm -hmm. like you live mm, it right and we have it. to deal with the negative talk but you right. but you want to really deal with it and keep your blinders on and mm -hmm. also surround yourself with people that dream like you true can contribute true. to you mm. and you as you're contributing to them right this builds right. a, a a audience and a coalition Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, this is what mm -hmm. builds it mm -hmm. so the naysayers I, I i i don't even have respect for one mm -hmm. because they're they're on the sidelines exactly, criticizing exactly. right mm -hmm. they're not playing on the court because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what notice people that play on the court in life they're not sitting back criticizing everything mm -hmm. there's no time mm -hmm. there's no time sean mm -hmm. because we're on the court and that takes up a lot of energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i'm not i don't tweet and post negative things about other people that wouldn't even mm. occur to me one but exactly i have no i have no desire mm. my time is filled up being on the court mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. wow and you know you you do learn a lot when you come from on basically just looked at you and shut you out you didn't even have to say anything mm. so it kind of mm -hmm. builds it can build chops in you in life right, right, and right. you know i could have been someone with all the negative aspects to mm, growing up mm, i could mm. have been someone that ended up in jail mm -hmm. i could have been someone that was on drugs mm, and mm. you know lived that kind of life because right. that's how constant it was it was you know the pressure mm -hmm. constant yeah mm, but mm. instead i had my dreams mm, and mm. nothing and nobody was mm. going to stop that. I just mm. didn't know how it was going to be. Mm. I didn't know how exactly I was going to do it. Right. I just right. knew I was going to be on the court mm -hmm. and play ball. That's it. Not on the sidelines. That's it. That's it. Wow, this is so inspiring. Uh, I'm telling you, man, this is deep. I, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones right here. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, man. Um, 
So this other question says, you're undeniably, yes. you're undeniably a change agent in the VO industry. What are your aspirations for this industry on a global scale? You know, I, 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 I love that question. It's actually, it's, it's a deep question. It's not an easy mm -hmm. one to answer. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what I think is the fact mm -hmm. that the Voice Arts Awards has mm -hmm. been created. Right. This is right. meant to be an international global platform True. for people mm -hmm. to thrive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for people to feel proud about their work, regardless mm -hmm. if you even get nominated and even mm -hmm. win. The mm -hmm. fact that there is an opportunity to submit work that you're proud of mm -hmm. to me is the mm -hmm. win because right. again, it takes courage to even do that. Now, mm -hmm. typically speaking, when people submit into award show and, mm -hmm. and including the voice arts awards, right. production companies submit, mm -hmm. television networks submit, mm -hmm. um, audio book companies submit, but mm -hmm. also yeah. individuals submit. Right. So you right. can individually submit work into the voice arts voice awards. Right. And right. in voice arts awards, there's right now there's two categories for international. One is right. an international body of work. So mm -hmm. you, uh, I think you have to um, submit at least five pieces of work. Mm -hmm. I think it's five. But mm -hmm. again, if you go to sovas.org and you go into the Voice Arts Awards, mm -hmm. you can see there's you know rules and all that regulations, but also with mm -hmm. the categories, you'll see what the criteria is. Right. So that's one, the international um, mm -hmm. body of work. Mm -hmm. And also there's dubbing. Right. And I know that, you know, I know that's huge. Yeah, that's huge. Right. In Africa. Right? Yeah, that's huge yeah. in Africa um, as yes. well. Mm -hmm. Especially so for, you... for the Latino soap operas and all. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So mm -hmm. you can, there's now a category for dubbing internationally. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, right. there's, there's room to submit there. But I do want you to know that we actually plan on doing um, and including uh, more specifically, like Africa, more specifically right. other countries. Right. The reason right. why we haven't yet is because you have to not just spread the word, but when we mm -hmm. open up a category, people mm -hmm. actually have to submit. Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to say, oh, we have this category, but if no one submits, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it actually takes a while to, to grassroots what mm -hmm. we're doing so mm -hmm. that it spreads globally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I can mm -hmm. tell you this. Every year that we do the Voice Arts Awards, and right. this is the thing that wakes me up in the morning and has mm -hmm. me work on it because it's probably the most complicated and intense work I've ever done in my life. Wow. But what has me wake up is mm. when, when at, at the Voice Arts Awards on the red carpet, I will have people, and they don't necessarily speak English, so I'm not mm -hmm. quite sure what they're saying. They're crying. Mm. They're in my arms. They're wow. thanking me. You know, wow. in their language, they're thanking wow. me for for creating such a thing that wow. they could feel proud of what mm -hmm. they're doing and feel mm -hmm. like they're getting acknowledged, regardless mm -hmm. if you win or not. Although, of mm -hmm. course, it's great if you do. But right. to me, even nominated, mm -hmm. that to mm -hmm. me is a win because mm -hmm. we have thousands of submissions mm -hmm. and we also mm -hmm. have over 200 judges wow. that score the work. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Right. Wow. So there's there's actually a lot of arms involved to create mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. extraordinary vehicle that everyone's mm -hmm. invited to take part. And, you know, show business, a lot of people in mm -hmm. voiceover don't necessarily realize, you know, because this is so new, you don't realize how it really works. But mm -hmm. it's very mm -hmm. pristine. It's very mm -hmm. meticulous. And we have to exactly. be capable. We can't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So <laughs> it's intense. You have it's intense. And, yes, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know what? I am creatively, but it's taken many years to really be like geek level, mm -hmm. or you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where I'm literally a geek. Right. <laughs> I'm not. You know the way, the way I discovered the way I discovered the Voice Arts Award was so funny. I mean, I was just doing a lot of research. Um, this was one of the days, you know, um, we're trying to get the academy started you know so i was i was just you know doing a lot of research online you know and i just found voice arts i'm like wow this is great you know <laughs> looked at me and said wow 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 you know and 
and I, you know, I had to put, I had to print it out. You know, I put it somewhere in my room. I said, you know, I told my wife, I said, very soon you're gonna see me hold that stuff. You know, <laughs> like that is, that is, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I, I love stuff. your vision. You know, Sean. and I told, I told my, I told, I told every every time we have classes at the academy, I always tell them, I said, guys, you know, you have to, you have to dream, dream for the Voice Art Awards. You know. Uh, I would tell that you know I'm a I'm a I'm a brand evangelist. They know they know, and they, they'll tell you. I, I always talk about you know the Voice Art Award because it's something I believe that is um it's it's very rewarding for the industry globally, you know. Um, so I, yeah. I, I think it's I think it's a massive work you all are doing, you know. And I I don't even think um well you can have other I know you have there are other awards, but I think this right. this actually brings the world together. You know, as it well, does, you know, you know, you know, and that's not... what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That's exactly mm -hmm. what we wanted to do is mm -hmm. bring the world together. The mm -hmm. thing about voiceover is, especially when I first got into it, was mm -hmm. for years and decades, I'd hear mm -hmm. people, because like I said earlier, when you audition, we had to go to a casting office. We have to right. go to an advertising agency. So mm -hmm. it was never at home. Mm -hmm. So you hear people talking in the waiting room and mm -hmm. I hear, I would hear like the constant thing where we are, we never get acknowledged. How come we can't have awards? How come mm -hmm. we don't get honored? How come mm -hmm. we don't get recognized? Mm -hmm. I hear that for years, not realizing mm -hmm. I'd be the one. To start to it. <laughs> right. But I mean, I remember people and people that were kind of, you know, legendary. Mm -hmm. Right. They would mm -hmm. constantly be talking about it because mm -hmm. we were so, you know, in the dark, basically mm -hmm. doing voiceover. Right. It, it, it means something for voiceover people to reach out mm -hmm. and to get to know each other mm -hmm. and to network, mm -hmm. even though it may not be networking necessarily around work. It's mm -hmm. important to network around your peers. Other exactly. industries do that and it right. empowers you mm -hmm. and you get to see what other people are doing, people are doing. exactly, and what exactly. they're thinking. Right. 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 But networking in general is, is extremely important in voiceover to get exactly. work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know people want to talk about mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and the industry. And I know you have a question about it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yes, we do. We don't have a lot of questions about it. But um, there's, some, <laughs> questions. there's right. some questions that just came in now. Um, okay. So Goldfish, Goldfish asked a question saying, uh, okay. asked a question saying, what are the five things a voiceover artist needs to do every day in order to um, multiply his growth annually. Okay. What are the five things a voice of a talent or a voice of an artist should do every day to multiply? Okay. Or, yeah. Okay. So every single day, mm. you should do a warm up. Right. And that's something you might have to build. Mm -hmm. You might have to build the warm up because the thing about a warm up is you have to do it right. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're just building bad muscles, musculature. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and if you do it without any awareness, you will mm -hmm. absolutely build the wrong muscles mm -hmm. around a warm-up. So mm -hmm. a warm-up is actually critical to right. a voiceover actor. Mm -hmm. And it's not just because of your voice. It's to connect you to your diaphragm, which mm -hmm. behind the diaphragm sits the solar plexus. The solar plexus is what connects you to spontaneous emotion. Mm -hmm. That's actually what we need for voiceover mm -hmm. so that we could sound spontaneous, right? right, right so right. so a warm-up that includes breathing mm -hmm. uh, and and actually um, articulating your tongue. Mm -hmm. So like there's the tip of the tongue, mm -hmm. the mid tongue, and the back right. of the tongue. So you want to have exercises that exercises that include releasing the, the, the tension in the jaw, because we all have jaw mm -hmm. tension. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. that's where we carry our anger, <gasps> right? right? <laughs> so so, <laughs> so it's, it's important to have that, and also tongue twisters. That's right. also gonna yeah. help make yeah. your tongue, well, we need that mm -hmm. for the microphone. So mm -hmm. it's not just about, you know, warming up your voice. It's mm -hmm. truly about plugging into who you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so warm up mm -hmm. is critical. Mm -hmm. um, I also think if you can practice every day, and what I mean by that is have some kind of witness listening mm -hmm. to your work. Mm -hmm. It could be a coach, mm -hmm. it could be a teacher, of course, mm -hmm. it, but it could also be if you're living with someone. Mm -hmm. So for example, you could record a commercial, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You could transcribe it, 
Mm. And you can re-record it. And then mm -hmm. whoever you're living with or a friend, mm. right. all you need to do is ask them, does this sound authentic to you? Mm. Does this sound real? And you don't mm -hmm. have to be trained mm -hmm. to hear that. Mm. Right? Because everyone knows when something is not real yeah. sound. Yeah. So yeah. I think practice with a witness mm. is important. Mm -hmm. Where someone mm -hmm. objective can hear what you're doing. Because mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now, it, I don't know if that's available to you. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying if you have someone you live with or you have a good friend, you mm -hmm. can send them, right? So there's that. Mm -hmm. Also, I think researching is something mm -hmm. you want to do every day. Right. And also, now that we're at home, we mm -hmm. can't necessarily show up at corporations or we can't mm -hmm. show up at, at – um, at facilitating people that facilitate voiceover work. Mm -hmm. So it's really good to under to get under research and who's doing what mm -hmm. and what talent agencies are hot and what mm -hmm. agents that you think you would work with. And right. so you're constantly doing some kind of research. You're, what you're doing is you're peeling back the onion layers mm -hmm. so that you are um, you are not in the the not the unknowing of things that but mm -hmm. you're in the knowing. When things mm -hmm. are a mystery it mm. scares you. It scares right. people. But right. when something's when things aren't mysterious, you're mm. able to move freer. So mm -hmm. so research, I think, is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And so that's three things. So right. also, so I think mm. body, some mm. kind of exercise, some right. so that you're not just because voiceover people tend to be in the booth sitting for a long time. True. And mm -hmm. also, I find that um, people you know, when you're an actor, you mm -hmm. tend to not be out of shape. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you have a muscle building body. I'm just saying right. that you tend to be in some kind of shape because you're seen. Mm -hmm. Somehow when you're not seen, I find that people tend to get out of shape very quickly. Right. And then they'll right. say right. things like, oh, I, I, I'm in the booth all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to exercise mm -hmm. something at mm -hmm. least 15 minutes a day mm -hmm. or every mm -hmm. other day. But mm -hmm. you need to get on a bike. You need to yeah. jog. You need to, you know, keep, what would be keep. great? Right. Yeah. Yes, keep yourself moving. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that there's a saying: if you something like if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not quite that, but something like that. So something like that. That's yeah. um, yes, that's important. And also, mm -hmm. what I would say is, I personally am on the phone all the time. Connecting with mm -hmm. people that I don't know, mm -hmm. that can help my plight. Mm -hmm. or, and that's where the research part comes in. And, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm on the phone all the time. I'm either right. connecting with people or following mm -hmm. up with conversations mm -hmm. that I've had mm -hmm. with people. So mm -hmm. one thing I will say is, the fifth thing is, if you can get into conversations about mm -hmm. voiceover, mm -hmm. that's where the miracles occur. Because conversation right. is where things happen. Mm -hmm. At home, not not engaged mm. in anything mm. leaves you helpless mm. miracles mm. happen in conversation right 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 well said well said wow wow amazing amazing tips there's that's a master class on its own <laughs> right which i plan on coming to nigeria to do by the way yeah 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 I when this is all over yeah i, I want to bring you to nigeria and i want to I, I i was hoping because i got my visa um earlier i got my visa again earlier oh, um, uh -huh. january so i was planning to come for the my, i mean it was part of my schedule to come for the um oh yeah award, and that's voiceover you know so i hope well I hope. you know this year uh mm -hmm. i'm not sure quite yet because the yeah. hotels are funny right now and i don't exactly. know what's going to happen with that. yes but and this is not set in stone it would mm -hmm. be announced but we are planning mm -hmm. and we have a hold for the Voice Arts Awards mm -hmm. on Valentine's Day, which is February 14th, 2021. Ah, that would be great. That would be awesome. <laughs> so that's the plan, mm -hmm. but or that's the loose plan. And we're mm -hmm. working with Warner Brothers because they don't, oh. you know, they don't exactly know either. But we do mm -hmm. have a hold on that date. Right. Fantastic. And of course, as soon as we know further, there will mm -hmm. be announcements everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. I'll, I'll definitely be there for sure. Oh. <laughs> you get the biggest hug and it won't be virtual then. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 
this question, the next question says, yes. what, is your def what is your definition of a successful or well-rounded vo voice over talent? What is your definition of a successful or well-rounded voice over talent or artist? Okay. This is my definition that these are certain skills you have to have under your belt. Mm. And these certain skills probably run across the board with anybody legendary. Mm. Mm. You have to have some kind of speech and diction under your belt. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you know what, you know what speech and diction is exactly? Speech and diction. No, no, speech, no. Speech and diction. Oh, speech and Of course, yeah. Yeah, okay. So mm. you have to have that under your belt. All right. Right. Okay. Right. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, the craft of voice acting, which means acting in front of a microphone. Right. That right. you also have to have down and you have to be uninhibited, mm. not mm -hmm. restricted in any way, but mm. uninhibited. Mm -hmm. That's another success point. Right. Another one is a being a people person. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, when people are not a people person, it's mm. triple harder. So if I you're able, I right? No, I right? If you are not a people person, mm. start to become one. Right, right, right. right? <laughs> start, start looking at Sean. What mm. does Sean do that has mm. him connect with so many people in such mm. a genuine way? This is mm. if you're not a people person. Mm -hmm. Become a people person. Mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. so that's really critical right. so um so there's speech and diction speech and there's diction. yeah there's, there's um, speech and diction there's there's head. being uninhibited in front of the microphone right i always tell people the, the word i use is shameless like i always tell people <laughs> yeah, you that. gotta be shameless you have to be shameless. yeah once you're in front of that microphone you know you're, you're not looking at anybody because because it's going to be it's going to be you have to just give it your whole self that's it that's what because that's say. what it takes mm -hmm. it literally actually goes a little bit past your whole self sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes i look back at my year and i go i had no idea how much i would have to come out of myself to be myself exactly right <laughs> right right so that ability to be able to do that is mm -hmm. is 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 critical. In other words, you have to be someone that's willing to transform who you are mm -hmm. to become more mm -hmm. of who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. to me is a very successful voiceover actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And saying yes to life mm -hmm. is also another aspect to me of mm -hmm. voiceover actors that are successful. They say yes to life. They don't say no. Mm, mm. because you actually realize that by saying yes to life you can truly channel that into the work right 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 i like that i like that wow mm. right mm. and being a successful voiceover actor and i've studied this mm. i find the people that are the most successful actually mm. have either spouses or mm. significant others in their life that mm. not necessarily voiceover people, but they mm -hmm. support what they do and who they are. That, mm. that acknowledgement from a significant other is huge. Mm. It's mm. something that could make or break. Mm. Just like mm. if, if like one of your parents were, was a parent that didn't understand what you were doing, right? somehow mm. that kind of breaks your heart a little bit. Right. Right. right so right. when you have someone close to you that can support what you're doing mm. and and you're able to talk to them about your day and what's going mm. on and the challenges and the job and the things mm. you love, you know, when you're able to have someone embody that in your life, that's right mm -hmm. next to you. Mm. I, I've noticed the top voiceover people have that. Mm. Wow. That's the one thing I found wow. really extraordinary. Wow. wow. I wrote a book called Secrets of Voiceover Success. Yes, I had yes, a lot of, about that book right? as well. Yeah. I have a lot of contributors to me Amazon, came out. Because I was looking for it in the, out of that book. Hmm? Is it on Amazon? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's right. on Amazon. It. Secrets right. of Voiceover Success. And I think it's not the original, even though that's on there. It's the uh, second edition or third oh, edition. The revised, the revised version. Revised, yes. Yeah. So what I felt like I discovered in that process was that everyone's, there was no one way to break into voiceover. Mm -hmm. Everyone yeah. has a story. Yeah. Mm. That's the beauty of it. Like everyone mm. has their own personal story. And by right. the way, your story is your mm. brand. 
Mm. Your story mm. is your brand. Mm. Mm. So there mm. is not going to be one path that mm -hmm. is the path. Right. Right. Because every person's different, everyone's mm -hmm. issues are different, and everyone's mm -hmm. open to something different that mm -hmm. I might not be open to, or you might mm -hmm. not, but they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So there has to be the ability to kind of allow life to, to work through you, allow your right. career to work through you so that mm -hmm. it can mm -hmm. actually surprise you. You don't mm -hmm. have to be control in control of everything. There's mm -hmm. actually a beauty of not. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Wow. Wow. So say yes to life, man. Guys. Yes. That, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Um, so another person said here, I think, yes. I, think I, I think we can add this to that. Um, but let me let me take uh, what's his name? Mauricio Mauricio from Puerto Rico. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. He says, what advice would you give for keeping up co consistency, not falling off the training? And not not use uh, and not use your own time. So I think what it means is and uh, not use your own time. Okay. Yeah. So what? Oh, okay. So you were right. you were frozen you there, Sean. So I didn't hear any of that. So you said, what advice would you give for keeping up consistency? Can you can you hear me? Now I can, but you keep freezing, so I didn't quite right. get any of that. Okay. I think it has to do in Sean network here. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Can you hear so me? I I didn't hear yes. Right. So I didn't hear any of that. Right. He says, "What okay. advice would you uh, give?" Would you give? Would you give for for keeping up consistency, not for? No, I don't know why. When we get to that point, it freezes. <laughs> so, uh, so consistency and not falling behind yeah, in yeah. craft <laughs> in in your craft. Yeah, yeah, and yes, exactly, right. Okay, I to me, voiceover people cannot do this alone. Even though ultimately you're in a studio by yourself working, everything else, you cannot do it alone. It actually takes a small village to su succeed. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I'm, I'm including an agent. I'm including buyers, you mm -hmm. know, people that hire you. I'm mm -hmm. also including um, agents and, and their assistants. Like I'm saying like casting people, it, it, you have to really develop a network of a small mm -hmm. village that right. can support and and um, pour them, you know, pour their talents into yours. Mm -hmm. That's how you build your talents. And to be mm -hmm. consistent mm -hmm. in your talents is mm -hmm. constantly networking and right. getting the small village of people around you that can help. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how popular this is in Nigeria, but mm -hmm. I would be in yoga class. Mm. I would study yoga. Why? Mm. Not only are you working your body, mm -hmm. but the one important thing about voiceover and what Meditation. it literally, it takes your breath. Mm. It mm -hmm. takes yeah, breathing. Breathing, breathing right. is absolutely right. important. Do not skimp or think that's not important. Breathing mm. is so important to voiceover. It's actually mm. the same thing. Voiceover, right. breathing. Mm. Breathing, voiceover, right? <laughs> and, yoga, and yoga addresses breathing. So, so, and I, and it could be any kind of yoga. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I actually would do things that don't necessarily uh, directly relate to being in front of a microphone, but mm -hmm. that can really support and enhance your voiceover career. And mm -hmm. you will be above the competition when right. you have yoga, when you, yoga is one, one technique that I would definitely mm -hmm. incorporate in a consistent way, whether it's once a week, or even mm. once every two weeks, it just has to be consistent. Mm. You will not mm. think about your breathing when you right. understand how the breath works in your body and how mm. deep you have to go to utilize it. Right. So there's that. There's also, mm. believe it or not, I've studied, not, and trust me, not to be a singer, but I've studied opera. 
And mm -hmm. opera is another thing that gets mm -hmm. you involved in your speech, your diction, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. developing your breath and also understanding your voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it mm -hmm. wasn't for me to be on stage singing opera. <laughs> Trust me. There wouldn't be a, per a person in the audience. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so opera is something that can actually enhance what you right. do over here so mm -hmm. that when you're in front of the microphone, microphone you're butter, yeah. mm -hmm. you're butter. Right. And right. you want to do things that would enhance that, but mm -hmm. that not necessarily other people think about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That really has you rise to the top. Mm -hmm. I kid you not. Mm -hmm. Also things like, I don't know if spoken word is something that's accessible out there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, people yeah. doing spoken word, recording right. spoken word, radio dramas. Right. You know, radio dramas. I, radio dramas um, yeah. We have a radio drama out, out there actually, um online. Oh you do? Uh, yeah, oh. Do. I'll send you I'll send you the details so you can listen to it. You know. Please, um, please. Yeah. But it yes, talks, those yeah. things it those talks about things an African family. Uh, <gasps> a typical African family, you know, um, that had secrets. So I'll send the link to you so that you can listen to it as well. You know? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> also, I, I want to make this suggestion too. And that is right. that, and this again, again, there's coaching, voiceover mm -hmm. coaching. I think that's absolutely critical. There's no right. question that is your weapon for mm -hmm. competition. But mm. these other aspects I'm talking about enhance and puff up what you do. Mm -hmm. And it makes people go, that person's special. Right. That person right. has a gift. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but that person, uh, you know, was different than all the other pers people I heard. And mm. it's because of these other aspects that you're incorporating mm. into voiceover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, um, believe it or not, Motivational speaking, public speaking, mm -hmm. all that enhances voiceover. Mm -hmm. Because again, it equals someone being uninhibited. Uninhibited. And also, I'll tell you too, by learning these other kind of art forms, right. by learning them, you don't even have to be great at it. Mm -hmm. You just want to learn it and it's so that you can incorporate it. Mm -hmm. um, even even people, dance, even dance can help you. Even dance! So oh, oh, you, oh, 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 oh. It totally does. And you know why? Yeah. Because You're voiceover is also rhythm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? It's about mm -hmm. rhythm and right. comic timing and, exactly. you know, so, and being timed. I mean, like mm -hmm. everything when you're at a job is about right. the time. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. here, and like, I'll, I'll be at jobs and they'll literally go, um, Joan, we need you to, you know, cut three frames from that. That's less than seconds, right? We're talking <laughs> less than seconds in voiceover. So you want to be someone that gets that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and, and dance is the only way I know that you would. And it could be right. tap dance. It could mm -hmm. be, you know, whatever style. But I'm mm -hmm. saying to incorporate movement right. is going to help your voice. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also these requirements that we have, like time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I, one time I did a job. This mm -hmm. was at Showtime, and mm -hmm. there was, you know, a really prominent uh, announcer that did all the work at Showtime, and the mm -hmm. and the things he chose not to do, I'd get. <laughs> so, so one day we were recording a duet for mm -hmm. an award show that no longer mm -hmm. exists, mm -hmm. and he and he's a legend, he, mm -hmm. totally untouchable. People wow. can barely talk to them, him. He's so intimidating to people, mm -hmm. and I'm talking producers. Okay, wow. that's how great he was. And mm -hmm. after our session, he turned to me and he said, I don't know how you have the timing that you have, but I would do anything to have that timing you have. Mm, wow, wow. I was like this. Wow. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe the legend was saying, yeah. But, wow. but I, knew, I knew it was because of dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. And so I, that's what I'm saying. Like people come at you with necessarily thinking about how it will land or enhance. Mm, but when you mm. really get familiar with art forms and how right. they sift through you, you mm -hmm. can't help but have that land in front of the microphone. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Right? And, and, and Even, you know, I mean, for, for us in Africa, it's so, um, it's so peculiar because we love rhythm. You know, we love to dance. We yes. love music. 
you know, a lot of precautions. So when we're dancing, we're always giving them, you know, some. You know, when I, I come, to, know when, I, I when I come, when I come to America, I'm going to teach you uh, a dance called Zanku. Zanku. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna yes. 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 You know, go some like you know, it's it's a it's a nice dance, right? <laughs> <laughs> love it, Sean. We have a date. <laughs> yes. We have a yes. date. I will. I, will. Okay. I promise. I promise. Okay. I'm going to, to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So um, the next question uh, yes. is, uh, how can African voice talent break grounds internationally in voiceover? Are there any potential international opportunities for African talents? I, I think there is, and I think it's growing, but I don't think it's enormous. Mm -hmm. So one thing, one thing I would do mm -hmm is I would start in the UK. Mm. I don't know I don't know how accessible that is in terms of being in Nigeria because mm -hmm. everyone does speak English. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I would definitely start by um, infiltrating the markets in the UK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. see how see the see the lay of the land. See, you know, mm -hmm. and what I mean by infiltrate is I would mm -hmm. um, approach talent agents mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the UK. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I would mm -hmm. see what their reaction is. You have to mm -hmm. be patient in this process, right? right. But you just mm -hmm. want to see what the feedback is or, or what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. or And it's not to stop you. It's just you. instead of going straight, you might have to go to the side mm -hmm. to get what you want or mm -hmm. underneath to get what you mm -hmm. want. But you can only do that by understanding the marketplace and what the need is. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have to be a little detective about it. But yeah, I would yeah. definitely start in the UK and then I would make my way to America because right. as much as I think there are opportunities here more mm -hmm. and more internationally, it's mm -hmm. still kind of slow. Yeah. slow I yeah, also perfect. think the Voice Arts Awards has sped it up mm -hmm. because I'm telling you, there was mm -hmm. never any of this cross kind of voices before voices. Yeah. until mm -hmm. then. Mm, mm, and mm. and the Voice Arts Awards has been around for six years. So I, I honestly think that's going to be a huge vehicle to mm. spread the international word. There is mm. no question about it. It already mm. is. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I, I think mm -hmm. in terms of uh, breaking into the international market, I would definitely start closer to home, like mm -hmm. the UK. Mm -hmm. and, and, and South Africa, are there commercials there that are mm -hmm. in English? Yeah, uh, in South Africa. Yeah, because I'm assuming that's a big market. Yeah, yeah. I mean, South Africa is a big. The the, the voice of industry in South Africa is more established than Nigeria. However, okay. Uh, however, one. So we have two different accents, right? The ah, South African okay. accent, but the West African accent is is more has more clarity than the South uh, African accent. You know. Uh, um, oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. That's needed, but yes. that's needed. Yeah. That's why I was suggesting speech and diction because speech mm -hmm. and diction is going to enhance the opportunities. Right. I'm not right. kidding. It right. enhances opportunities. Mm -hmm. It's limiting, especially in the States, if you have a thick accent or the clarity isn't there. Mm -hmm. So speech and diction is a huge asset for us it voiceover is. people, especially mm -hmm. international wanting to come mm -hmm. to the States. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is a key, mm -hmm. speech mm -hmm. and diction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, I would start closer to home and work my way to America. America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, right. and I think that probably more so than not, I think mm -hmm. the opportunities for international would mm -hmm. be probably around audiobooks. Right. Because, right, right the audiobook industry, mm -hmm. probably the e learning industry. E learning industry. Mm -hmm. Right. Some, um, some, some might be the animation as well. Um, oh if yes! Have, if they have African uh, totally character. right video um, games, yeah, right? video games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, there's detective work with that, and also again, I think mm. the key you know, is getting speech and diction under your belt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. then people, there's no limit to what you can do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amazing. So that's amazing. the key. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing advice. All right, um, the next question here says, uh, 
what inspired or propelled you to Secrets of Voiceover Success? And what is your uh, all round all round inspiration for staying for staying that's you for staying relevant in the voiceover industry? You know? Okay. So Secrets of Voiceover Success came out of the fact that my dad had passed away from Alzheimer's. And I don't know if Alzheimer's yeah. disease is something that really is in Nigeria, but mm -hmm. it is rampant in the United mm -hmm. States. Dementia. Oh, right, where your 